What's up everyone? Today, I'm gonna to show you a directional blur effect. Alright, so this effect is pretty simple. I mean, we have a couple things going on, but if you look at the effects controls on one of these clips, you can see that all we have is a directional blur and alpha adjust, and basically the alpha adjust will make it so that we don't have this little vignette on the edges because I'm ignoring the alpha. And also I added a transform that basically scales it in at some point in time if you wanna make it pop in. Now I think this effect would be good for like a flashback or something where it's kind of like you're under a spell or you're under some weird effect, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's just copy a clip over and delete everything. All right, now go to the effects tab and type in directional blur. This is where the heart of our effect is going to happen. So under directional blur, what we're gonna do is go to blur length first, click the toggle animation keyframe button and go one to two frames in a direction and then just click and drag your blur length anywhere from zero to 50 and then go two frames and then change it again, go two frames, increase it, decrease it, really just go a couple frames and just adjust this all over the place. You can go from like very minimal, like anywhere from one to 15, to all the way up to like 30 and 10, 20, you know, just get the overall scope of this effect. And then once you go probably like, I don't know, 50 or so frames, all you have to do is highlight everything, click Control C and then Control V to copy it. Highlight everything again, Control C, go to the end of those keyframes and copy it. Again, you just kind of want to copy everything so that when we play this back, it looks like we're blurring all over the place, which looks pretty nice. But you'll notice right away, we get these like little black vignette edges. So all you have to do is type in alpha under the effects and go to alpha adjust, drag that beneath the directional blur and click ignore alpha. Once you do that, if you play it back, it'll look like this. A couple more things we want to do is highlight all of your keyframes, right click and go down to hold. That will create it so that it kind of like jumps a little bit more which looks better now what you want to do is go through the direction keyframes under directional blur click that toggle animation again go a couple frames and just change the direction like you can keep dragging it right and left or if you want you can just keep dragging it to the right to change it because once you get to 360 degrees it will actually go to two times which will continue to change that around. Same concept right here. If you right click on all those and go to hold and then click control C and control V and then copy those just so that it fills up the entire duration. So now we get this effect right here and it looks pretty good already but to finish off this actual effect you can type in transform and drag on the transform effect and then all you have to do is check the toggle animation button under scale and play it a little bit. Let's go to 130 and then go a couple frames, maybe 140. Go a couple frames and go back to 100. And then let's go to 110 uh, and then 140 again. And then one frame or so and then go to 110 again. And then all I have to do is highlight all those and copy those over. And then again, highlight everything and right click, go to hold. So once we do that, you'll see that everything has been completed and we are kind of zooming in and out while having that directional blur. So if you want two clips to transition between each other, all you have to do is increase the blur length right before your transition point so that the two clips are blurry and it will transition seamlessly. Well, that's all I have time for for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you did, click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Peace.